Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. We've been through two very interesting weeks of the Shapeshifters promo at FIVA 23, and today is the beginning of the end. According to EA's website, this is the final week three of Shapeshifters in FIVA 23, so we're going to have our last set of cards with Shapeshifters and Shapeshifter icons drop today, and what I'm really wondering is... What is going to set this week apart from the first two weeks of this promo? We've had the goalkeepers. We've had, of course, the first week, which was just kind of the shock of all the big position changes. What is going to be different about this week three that makes it even better? We'll talk about that in today's video. And, of course, we have the Icon player pick returning today. More XP, potentially level 35, level 40 being claimed by a lot of people today. There's a lot going on on a FIFA Friday today in this game. So if you're enjoying the videos, if you're excited for today, drop a thumbs up on it. And, of course, subscribe if you are new let's look at yesterday's content just really quickly because it was a quiet day of course we had the marquee matchups that we always expect we had a player SBC though that we did not expect and that was a Buffon the first special version of Gianluigi Buffon in FIFA 23 and it's a center back card crazy uh, again just shape shifters in a nutshell this past week a goalkeeper moved to a center back He's actually pretty decent. Only 60,000 coins. You definitely need the premium aspect of this card because he does not link to basically anything else. He's from the second Italy League Serie B. And he's Italian, so that does give out some nice links. But um, he doesn't really contribute to many links in the side. At least he himself was on three chemistry. Four-star, five-star. Um, a lot of people are a fan of this because it's a special Gianluigi Buffon. And I get that. It is cool. I personally would have liked this a lot better if he was a goalkeeper because this is the only special card we have from an on the year and uh i just think i would have rather had a goalkeeper buffon card but nonetheless i was a bit surprised actually at how decent he was for me he was better than ochoa and emmy martinez cards at center back that i have both used so this Buffon for me is one that if you want to try something and just have a fun craft, go ahead and do it. In the same team as Milinkovic Savage, it is very fun. And he's actually very overpowered on headers, on corners. I was very surprised at how good he was at those. We also had the final refresh of the 84 times 10 and our daily refresh of the Tots slash Tots Moments upgrade pack which still continues to hurt the market a lot team of the season cards guys dropped even further yesterday a lot of them are falling down even further in price especially on the fodder tier we like we've got 91 rated tots cards like reese james team of the season moments is 23k which is absolutely crazy to think that all 91 rated tots cards just a couple days ago or 91 rated cards in general were 38,000 coins and now this tots pack once again has caused an entire shift on the top tier fodder market where gold cards like de bruyne were 40k and now they're 26k because all of these tots cards just bringing all of those top fodder uh top rating fodder cards down with this su tradable supply that's been hitting the market it refreshed again today there's going to be more tradable supply of tots cards now we mentioned an icon player pick sbc we definitely want to keep an eye on some of these higher rated tots cards but i just don't feel like they're going to move that much i don't really think there's an investment here to be made as of right now just because there is so much supply that's going to be hitting the market i don't want to buy too much of those yet but we'll talk more about that sbc a little bit later as a part of today's content but first for today of course we have to look at Shapeshifters Team 3 and the leaks. No loading screens, but we do have some leaks. And man, the, what might set this team apart, this Team 3, what might make it better than the last two Shapeshifters teams is some of the player names that we have right now in leaks and the potential positions that those players could be, there's a lot of hype today with players dropping in FIFA. First of all, the first leak that we had is Kyle Walker. I mean, we assume it's a goalkeeper, right? Kyle Walker, hopefully a goalkeeper card. I guess it could be center back. Either of those would be appreciated, but a Kyle Walker goalkeeper shapeshifter has literally been a type of card we have dreamed up for, honestly, the last couple of years. When we think of, like, a shapeshifter card that would just be out of this world crazy, it seems like it's possible. They already put a center back, couple Brera into a goalkeeper with this team too, right? This card. So it's looking like this Kyle Walker is going to be a goalkeeper card. He was leaked there by Sheriff. Um, I'm, I think Sheriff might be assuming, but I think that's a pretty good assumption. Hopefully this card is a lot of fun to use. Now, my only question is Kyle Walker is six foot tall. 
he probably is not going to be that meta of a card in game if he is a six foot tall goalkeeper. Uh, again, goalkeepers, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 6 6 a lot of those guys have the height to be good and to be overpowered in this game. So we'll see if EA try to like absolutely juice his stats because they know that. Um, I don't think they can make him taller in game to be a goalkeeper, but that's going to be a card with a lot of hype just because of the position change there. And that's been one that we've wanted to see for a long time. Now, the other names that we have, guys, I'm telling you, big names, right? Joao Felix, a Chelsea Joao Felix card, probably one of the last ones he's going to get in this game. Um, don't know where they want to position change this card. Of course, Joao Felix has had a couple special items this year, and they've been very expensive, and I think that's going to continue. I would imagine this is going to be like a top two, maybe even top three most expensive promo card in the team today for the cards are going to be in packs. Uh, again, Foot Sheriff says could be a really good winger. I agree. Um, his base card stat or base card position is center forward so really interested to see where they would move him to of course he's had the foot birthday and he had the winter wild cards which we were very underwhelmed remember when the foot birthday came out how small of an upgrade that was over the winter wild cards but this should be a really crack jewel off felix you can imagine this card right here with the five star five star hopefully he's still five five uh but you can you imagine like plus three four five six on every single kind of stat you're going like 90 probably 96 97 rated right usman that bailey was 90 97 Martial the young I would assume that this is going to be one of the more expensive cards in the promo team today and it's going to be really meta in game because draw Felix is usually really good now we do have more icons coming Gerd Muller is getting a shapeshifters as well I'd be very interested to see where they put this card as a shapeshifter icon that one to me I don't exactly know where he would fit in game. Maybe like a center defensive mid, but he'd be like really short, kind of Conte-esque. Or maybe they move him to the wing. Not entirely sure. They, I feel like they've been doing a little bit less of some shape-shifting with the icons. We'll see where that Muller is at today. But that's one of the icons that we have leaked right now. And this is probably one of the biggest names aside with Kyle Walker. We have Paul Pogba coming into the shapeshifters promo. And man... Um, just think about all the insane cards that we have had that have been French recently. I was about to say all the insane midfielders. Um, I don't know where this guy is going to be positionally. I don't know what kind of stats he's going to have. All I know is this flashback Pogba is probably still meta and usable in this game right now. And I used my flashback Pogba for so many games this year after team of the year absolutely cracked card five star skills four star weak foot for this midfielder version of him and um yeah i mean pogba striker who says no pogba left wing who says no this could be a very very intriguing card to be using in this game i'm so excited to see where they would position change him and the last leak that we have is another icon it is soul campbell coming in shapeshifters as well Again, curious, maybe they move him to striker, no idea. But you guys look at those names, right? Pogba, Joao Felix, those are some pretty big name cards and a lot of hype in terms of the links that those cards provide, but also um, with just like the big name players that they are and uh, the hype is going to be there, right? So this might be one of the best teams of shapeshifters. Uh, we're going to have to see the rest of the team. Now, for the rest of this team, one thing that's been huge for especially like the last two weeks in the shapeshifters promo is the lower to middle tier cards that are just straight up meta right zaha is making waves as a very popular card in this game 227,000 coins wow he is continuing to rise in price but such a great card it's a premium for the links i think people really like these premium cards becker the sbc milinkovic savage this zaha card a lot of the premiums are garnering the most hype every single week. I think for this Team 3 to be a level above Team 1 and Team 2, we've also got to have some really good lower level middle tier cards that are really overpowered and that are on a decent price range like this Zaha is. So I'm excited for that today. Excited to see what other cards get dropped with more icons and of course, regular shapeshifters and premiums uh, in packs as well. Now let's talk about SBCs. We have those leagues. We have no idea what our SBC player is going to be for today, right? We have no idea, but we kind of know this. Every single Friday, the past two weeks of shapeshifters, we've had a WSBC, right? We had Upamakano two weeks ago, and we had Vanja Milinkovic Savage last week. Now, both of those are expiring, and if you haven't done either of those, Upa, you could argue maybe wasn't as meta, but for a day one card, it looked absolutely insane. 
for the Shapeshifters promo. And then Val Valinkovic Savage, absolutely ridiculous card in my team, in so many of you guys' teams right now. So good. I have high hopes. I really do have high hopes today for an SBC player. Um, I don't know who it's going to be, but Friday SBCs have been good, so I have hope for that today as well. And then objectives, we always expect an objective player on a Friday. The Bravo still has a couple of days left. I got to complete some of these SBCs, the Shapeshifters Crafting, to get that done. Um, the Pepe Reina is going to be going away. I probably should do this really quick. Scoring three separate games, okay? Um, he's going to be going away today. And then the big thing about today is XP, right? Fridays have been XP days. The Shapeshifters 3 came out last week. Shapeshifters 4 probably dropping today. The biggest question is, will EA drop a lot of XP or will they only give out a little bit? Because I believe right now people have started to get level 35. We opened a Shapeshifters player pick 1 of 5 yesterday on stream. It was all Team 1 players. This is a big topic of conversation right now. At level 35, what should you take? Honestly, 85 times 10, you kind of know what you're getting. If you need fodder, if you're crafting Conte, if a big SBC comes out today or you want to do the icon player pick when it refreshes, maybe the 85 times 10 is for you. But this 1 of 5 shape shifter player pick, that's flat out fun, right? And if you have a lot of fodder right now, if you're doing upgrade SBCs, if you're saving player picks for today and you're going to get some fodder, this 1 of 5 shape shifter player pick is very, very fun to do. Now, I will say once again, People think that this is glitched, right? It seems to be a little bit broken because it's only giving out Team 1 cards. And a lot of these at the moment, now I'm assuming this is going to change. After content today, I would have to imagine this player pick is going to start giving out maybe some Team 2 players. I don't know if it's just coded incorrectly or what the issue is. But a lot of people are packing Rudiger, Depay, um, even VVD and Mares are semi-common because when you think about a 1 of 5 player pick for just the shapeshifter players in general you know you've got Mares, Bai, Tokyo Kami, Alvarez, Bruno, Orsolini, Becker, Frankowski, Depay, VVD and Rudiger that's a very small player pool if it's just pulling from team one right now if it does end up being team two as well in this player pick after content today that's just theorizing I don't know what it's going to be um, then you'd have some more players of, of course pulled into that pool it is a gamble but, uh, I, guys, I don't think there's going to be compensation for this because technically it does seem broken because it's only giving Team 1 cards when you would think Team 2 should be a part of this as well. But the more that I th think about it this evening, um, I really believe that it's technically giving out what it says that it's going to give out. A 1 of 5 Shapeshifters player pick. Now, maybe EA would just want to shove this under the rug because there's so much compensation already and they don't want to deal with it if it actually is messed up and it's only giving out Team 1 players, which it looks to be technically it is giving out what it says it was going to give out but i don't know man i feel like that's a, a big kind of mistake and if ea was going to fix it they would want to fix it today before they release more xp uh but it might not get fixed guys really not so that's kind of the issue there i think it's fine going either way 85 10 or the one of five but i wanted to talk about it in length today just because that's a big topic that is going around right now but we should expect more xp today and objectives to continue to progress in the xp grind now let's talk market a little bit today because like we mentioned one of the biggest sbcs is refreshing today and i think apart from a player sbc and the new guys coming out in packs this might be one of the biggest talking points and probably one of the most completed sbcs today on this game the 90 plus icon player pick now this was um, repeatable two times when it first came out this last Sunday. I don't know when it refreshes today if we'll be able to do it twice again or just one time. I would be very interested in doing this. And guys, with the fodder prices the way that they are, 87s, um, you know, 87 rated cards right now in this game, they should be dropping today, right? And that's one thing that's made this SPC a bit more expensive because you've had the 84 times 10 SPC, which has 87s actually more expensive than 88s, which makes zero sense, but you know how this game is sometimes. Um, 87s should be dropping today. If you have any of those in your club, I would take the cash and sell them because this 84 times 10, which is requiring them and making them go up because it requires three of them in the SPC, is going to be going away. Now, fodder today i'm not really investing for this player pick and fo fodder investing on fridays usually doesn't work out that amazing i don't think there's a ton of saved up packs for today um but you think about 87 86 and 85 rated squad what would move for this 
Todd's cards are cheap. I'm not going to invest in those. They're also getting supplied again today. Maybe you could look at like 88 rated cards. Maybe there's like a slight movement after content upwards as people go and do whatever player SPC we get today and maybe this SPC as well. So maybe some of your higher tier fodder, if you're going to try to do any of that, that's what you could look at. But the safer route is to just wait until Saturday, at least Friday night today into Saturday before you start to look at the fodder prices because usually they drop off in those days a little bit but this SBC is definitely going to be one of the more exciting things to do today on this game and it will drain a bit of coins off of the market but it's going to be so much easier to do because tots cards way cheaper 85s 86s if you're doing any player picks today if you're getting any packs like an 85 times 10 from xp being released much more easy to craft so that's going to be a w and uh, yeah watch out for that of course now i will say Today as well, with this market, as we're looking at a lot of prices, the eyes are going to be on Shapeshifters Team 3 coming into this game. But Shapeshifters Team 2 going out of packs, a lot of people are investing. We looked at that Zaha card already, and a lot of people, you can tell, were making investments yesterday around the marquee matchups time frame. These cards dropped a little bit, and then basically they started going right back up afterwards. Zaha was 200,000 coins, 210k, and just like immediately started rising after content as people went out and started buying cards. And I do believe that some of these guys will rise. Uh, De Young was under 1.7. Now he's back up there. Garincha is the lowest that he's been. Eto, two, under 2.4 mil. Very low for that card as well. Neuer, under 500k. Adiemi, Ochoa, Cabrera, Taliso, Raquelme. A lot of these little middle to lower tier cards, I do believe, have, have a chance to rise. And uh, they'll probably stay low even after content today for at least a little bit. Uh, but I, what I would do is if you want to wait and try to make a calculated investment on one of these cards going out of packs, wait until you see A, either the leaks or the actual content of who's in objectives and who is in SBCs today because Frankowski was a card that last week was really helped out during the week as an, an investment uh, because we had a lot of people getting Genduzi, right? And Frankowski now is like 190,000 coins, almost 200K. He was 130, 140 last week on Friday. Maybe, you know, if we get like a Bundesliga card today, maybe it's Adiemi that goes up. If we get like a crazy Serie A card, maybe it's Ochoa that goes up a little bit. Maybe if it's La Liga, we get Caprera to rise some. So the premium cards seem to do the best. That's why Zaha is one that everybody is investing in right now. But I would watch Giroud. I would watch Taliso. And watch Neuer as well, because Neuer is just rare. And again, this is something that we've, again, never seen before. And this Neuer card out of, you know, check is really, really insane. But this Neuer card is also really, really cracked. And he's also pretty rare. So I could see some of these guys rising up a bit today. It just really depends, in my opinion, on what objective and SBC players that we get. Now, for the rest of the market in general, Todd's cards... I'm careful with, right? I'm not really trading with too many of these right now just because they're tradable. Get, they're getting supplied from that pack on the market. They do have some fluctuations, right? I mean, you can look at some of these prices and, and look into the graphs and see that there are movements every single day on these cards. They drop with the supply. Some of them bounce back up a little bit. Look at Lautaro here. 350,000 coins. Yesterday, he went from three. 20 all the way to 299 and is now at 350 kind of a crazy rise there as the weekend league is going to be starting here soon i think rabio had a similar movement as well rabio yesterday went from 460 down to 440 and then boom he's back up to like 480 where he is right now so there's weekly demand there is a lot of demand for these cards definitely keep an eye out on team of the season that gets supplied today there should be a decent bit of a rise on the market uh wow look at their stegen 78k yeah he's going up um there should be a little bit of a rise on the market around you know an hour or two three after content as there always is just because people are going out and they are buying teams for weekend league and uh, they got to play their games, right? I know the rewards aren't that great, but still, Weekend League is the best place to try out cards and to have fun in this game. And uh, yeah, man, again, I would just say if you're trying to buy any of these moments cards, like the Ronaldo, like the Neymar, yeah, they, they've kind of hit some low points and, and some of them have maybe bounced back up a little bit. But this Ronaldo being 3 million coins under 3 mil after he was like, you know, what was he like 4.5, 4.6 a couple days ago. It's absolutely insane. Neymar being 3.7 after he was like 4.7 or 5 mil. 
I mean, all these moments cards are continuing to get supplied and they're down like crazy. So biggest tips I can give you guys today is watch the SBC, watch the objective player, because just like last week with Milinkovic Savage, if there's a lot of hype with a specific SBC player, and if it's especially not a premium player, that could mean prices rising with links. Remember when Upmakano went out, a lot of your Bayern players and Bundesliga guys went up in price. Same sort of thing could happen today. It's a lot really revolving around that SBC player and uh, the cards and packs, of course. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. I got to go stock up and build up some 82 plus player picks so that we can try to pack some new shapeshifters today. I hope the pack weight is better this week because it was woeful this past week. So I got to go buy some of these and uh, build some up for the stream today on Friday. If you want to check out that stream, link is down below in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, of course, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream today. Let's have a good last Friday of Shapeshifters. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.